All right, thank you, Tony. A landmark ruling on sports betting could have a trickle-down impact on nearly everyone who lives or works in Rhode Island. As we first reported on Eyewitness News at noon today, the Supreme Court overturned a federal ban on sports wagering, which gives states the right to allow gambling on sports. And the ruling comes just months after Governor Gina Raimondo revealed she's banking on sports betting at Twin River to help balance next year's budget. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live with the new details when sports wagering could arrive to Rhode Island and what it could mean for taxpayers. Steph? Rhode Island has already been preparing to offer sports betting in anticipation of this Supreme Court ruling. In fact, Governor Mundo is counting on it for millions of dollars in her budget. Sports fans could be able to wager on their favorite games in Rhode Island starting October 1st. If all goes according to plan, the first big hurdle has been overcome. The U.S. Supreme Court today striking down a law that banned states from allowing sports betting. We anticipated the Supreme Court ruling would go this way. Governor Gina Raimondo's Director of Revenue, Mark Furcolo, has already been working on implementing sports betting. Raimondo is counting on $23.5 million in revenue in her 2019 budget. The state put out a request for proposals for vendors to run the games. Bids are due this Friday. In the RFP process, we're looking for ideas and innovation um, on ways to make our uh, casinos um, the most attractive. It's a competitive situation with Massachusetts and Connecticut. Sports betting would only be allowed at Twin Rivers two casinos in Lincoln and soon to be open in Tiverton. In person only, not online, because those are the two locations Rhode Island voters have approved for gambling. A Twin River spokesperson said they are reviewing the Supreme Court decision and said, quote, during the last couple of months, we began to consider how our two Rhode Island venues could possibly accommodate the addition of sports betting should the ruling prove favorable to Rhode Island. That review has included space and staff considerations. And the governor's proposal would not include betting on local college teams like URI and PC, but professional teams would be included like the Patriots. Again, they hope that this will be up and running in October. Now, coming up new at 6, what needs to happen at the State House for this to become a reality? Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. But first, we're looking ahead at what's next for sports betting in Rhode Island following today's landmark ruling by the nation's highest court. The ruling effectively allows states to make sports betting legal. And as we've reported, Governor Gina Raimondo made her own wager earlier this year that revenue from sports betting would help balance her proposed budget. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph. Rhode Island is hoping to get a leg up on Massachusetts by getting the vendors and technology for sports betting in place. Today's Supreme Court decision paves the way for that all to happen. The U.S. Supreme Court ruling states can legalize sports betting if they want to, and Rhode Island's elected leaders do. Governor Gina Raimondo put $23.5 million of sports betting revenue in her budget for the coming year, anticipating the Supreme Court decision. The next step is legislation to set up legal gaming at Twin River Casino. House Speaker Nick Mattiello says he's on board, and Senate President Dominic Ruggiero is the sponsor of a sports betting bill that will be heard on Tuesday. He applauded the Supreme Court decision, saying, quote, enabling legal sports wagering in Rhode Island would provide revenue for critical state services while providing a new entertainment option for Rhode Islanders. I was not surprised this morning. Raimondo's Director of Revenue, Mark Furcolo, has been planning ahead to implement the sports wagering, already asking for bids from vendors due Friday. We're looking for ideas and innovation um, on ways to make our uh, casinos um, the most attractive. It's a competitive situation with Massachusetts and Connecticut. For now, betting on sports would only be allowed in person at Twin Rivers' two locations. Online sports betting would likely require a voter referendum. And professional sports leagues have long expressed concerns about sports betting, saying it could hurt the integrity of the game. The NFL is now calling on Congress to pass federal regulations. Now, Rhode Island's proposal would not apply to local colleges like URI and PC. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.